Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Anthony Bourdain's haunting tweet weeks before his suicide about what Hillary Clinton goons did to him. Just scant days after 55-year-old iconic fashion designer Kate Spade was found dead in the New York apartment due to a tragic suicide by hanging herself, the news broke that Anthony Bourdain was found dead also by apparent suicide by hanging. Bourdain was just 61 years old and award-winning celebrity chef, writer, and CNN TV host who took viewers around the world with his show Parts Unknown when he died in Paris apparently by his own hand, or was it? CNN announced in a statement Friday morning. It is with extraordinary sadness we can confirm the DH of our friend and colleague, Anthony Bourdain. His love of great adventure, new friends, fine food and drink and the remarkable stories of the world made him a unique storyteller. His talents never cease to amaze us and we will miss him very much. Our thoughts and prayers are with his daughter and family at this incredibly difficult time. CNN's Jake Tapper tweeted of Bourdain's death, This is so awful. Anthony Bourdain, 61, has died. He took his own life. He was in France working on an upcoming episode of his award-winning CNN series. His close friend Eric Repair, the French chef, found Bourdain unresponsive in his hotel room Friday morning. Yet many are asking now in the wake of Bourdain's tragic death, just what in the world was Bourdain referring to when he said via social media, just weeks ago, he had been harassed by Hillary Clinton's goons and it ain't fun? It is no secret that those that cross swords with the Clintons have a nasty habit of winding up dead mostly by apparent suicide and generally under what their friends and family would deem suspicious circumstances. Spade was believed to have been connected to the Clinton Foundation and their apparent fleecing of the Haitian people after a 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit the island leaving the world's poorest country devastated and in ruin. According to the Clinton Foundation website, Spade was part of the No Ceilings Initiative and led delegations down to Haiti as recently as 2015. Klaus Eberwein was a former Haitian government official who was expected to expose the extent of Clinton Foundation corruption and malpractice. Just one week before his testimony was set to be given he mysteriously committed suicide with the official cause of death as gunshot to the head. Not long before his death, he repeatedly expressed his belief that his life was in danger because of his outspoken criticisms of the criminal activities of the Clinton Foundation. Which brings us back to Bourdain, he tweeted on May 2, 2018, of his own issues with Hillary Clinton, stating Dash, and I am in no way an HRC fan. I've been on the receiving end of her operative's wrath. And it ain't fun. In October of 2017, Bourdain made repeated statements concerning disgraced former movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. His comments suggested there was no possible way that Hillary could not have known Weinstein's history of being a sexual predator and exploiting young women. Bourdain's girlfriend, actress Asia Argento, accused Weinstein of raping her. Bourdain tweeted, Know what Hillary Clinton is not? She's not stupid. Or unsophisticated about the world. The Weinstein stories had been out there for years. When asked why he did not use his platform to do something slash say something with regard to Weinstein, Bourdain tweeted in response, My connection to a victim was known to her abuser who was already pressuring and terrorizing her. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.